Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Where do I even start? This man is unstoppable. I'm talking about Raiko, the developer of Simuhook, a absolute must have when using Simu, a Wii U emulator. He is responsible for improving the experience had by countless numbers of users and he's back at it again with an integrated timer solution on the latest version of Simuhook 0.5.4.0 available to download right now, link in the description. Remember, simply extract the zip file contents to your Simu root folder. You might be wondering, why is this a good thing? Well, it has the potential to fix a plethora of timing issues across a number of titles. The first obvious one being The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Here we have a video showing the in-game timer counting down correctly and accurately for the first time. Early reports indicate the timing options provided make Fatal Frame 5 playable and fixes the timer for Twilight Princess HD mini games. Your job, the wider community out there, is to download Simuhook 0.5.4.0 right now and give it a try using its different options on a title which you've previously had problems with and report back here. If you saw my earlier video about the Breath of the Wild stutter fix using Raiko's EXE timer, the newest version of Simuhook now has that built in and much much more. Let's take a look at the new timing options. You'll find them in the Simu menu debug option after installing Simuhook 0.5.4.0. Custom timer set to default uses Simu's selection and that can be made more accurate in MM timer accuracy by setting it to 1 millisecond or highest. This option isn't recommended as it really isn't as good as the other timing alternatives. It is however recommended to use either QPC or RDTSC depending on your system and basically finding the option which works best for you. Below these two options you will see selectable speeds, however Raiko doesn't recommend changing them, they are just there for fun, so leave it at 1 in most cases. One example of fun is in Breath of the Wild using the Zalfonos FPS++ pack if you would like to play around with going faster or slower. A great point Raiko shared with me is that the timers can be hot swapped in real time, however going back to default host based timers could lead to issues. As a final note, accurate timing can potentially lead to improved performance in certain cases, but be sure to test out the different options and find what works best for you. If you missed news about Simu 1.9.2 releasing on the 25th of September for patrons, then a key point included in that relates to the addition of RDTSC timing. So, Riker has you covered if you aren't a Simu patron, as that feature is included in Simu Hook 0.5.4.0 as well as QPC. There you go, people, Raiko does it again. Test out Simu Hook timers and report back. Thank you for watching. I've been the Complaining Gamer. If you enjoyed the content, remember to leave that thumbs up. If you want to come back for more, please feel free to subscribe. Take care, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.